Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Armin, and in this video, I will model vibrating particle in water by pressure acoustic physics. Before watching this video, please watch part 1. In part 1, I modeled the pressure and velocity of a vibrating particle in the water. You can see them in the results. We are going to see pressure and velocity in the z-direction by pressure acoustic physics. It's time to get started. I want to add pressure acoustics from the physics tab. I'm going to click on add physics and from the add physics window, I will select pressure acoustics frequency domain. In study one, two physics are calculated separately and simultaneously. Two physics are not coupled. You can calculate each physics in a separate study. The next step is to define the boundary conditions for pressure acoustics physics. In boundaries, I will select a thermoviscous boundary layer impedance. I will click on the circle. This is wall boundary condition. In the settings window, I will change the mechanical condition from no slip to velocity. I will specify velocity in the z-direction according to thermoviscous physics. The analytical formula is adiabatic, so I will change the thermal conditions from isothermal to adiabatic. Also, fluid material is water. Everything is okay. In final step, I'm going to click on Compute. The solution has been completed. In acoustic pressure, I'm going to add a line graph. From expressions, I'm going to choose total pressure acoustic in pressure acoustic physics. The answers are almost the same. From legends, we can adjust the legend of the diagram. For the next step, I will choose velocity in the z direction. Therefore, from y-axis data in the settings window, I will click on expressions and select velocity in z-direction. As you see the answers are the same. Thank you for watching. Please like videos and subscribe to my channel.